My name is Scott Henbury. I am the Vice President of Sales for Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Great Western Brewing Company. Yeah, our support of curling started a number of years ago and we re recognize that curling is a phenomenal sport that's uh, very popular across all of Western Canada and in fact across all of Canada. Our partnership with, uh, with Team Flash is phenomenal. We uh, love the support that you guys give us. And, uh, and we certainly feel that uh, you know, we have a good partnership with you guys and uh, it's, a, it's a reciprocal relationship and you know, we certainly uh, wish you guys all the luck at the uh, upcoming trials and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully here back here in Saskatoon. Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Here at Red Arena, we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. to landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. My name is Scott Henbury. I am the Vice President of Sales for Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Great Western Brewing Company. Yeah, our support of curling started a number of years ago and we re recognize that curling is a phenomenal sport that's uh, very popular across all of Western Canada and in fact across all of Canada. Our partnership with, uh, with Team Flash is phenomenal. We uh, love the support that you guys give us. And, uh, and we certainly feel that uh, you know, we have a good partnership with you guys and uh, it's, a, it's a reciprocal relationship and you know, we certainly uh, wish you guys all the luck at the uh, upcoming trials and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully here back here in Saskatoon. Hello folks and welcome to continuing coverage of the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. 
live on curling.com, sportsnet.ca, and World Curling TV. This is draw number eight. Team Matt Dunstone against Team Glenn Howard. This is a Pool C battle. Glenn Howard undefeated through the first three games. He sits at 3-0, and and Matt Dunstone sitting at 2-1, and so a crucial game for both teams. John Cullen on the call, and I'm flying solo tonight, so great to be with all of you watching this game with me. It should be a dandy. So we're just peeking in here at Matt Dunstone's draw for Hammer. So you're getting a little bonus coverage here. If you're unfamiliar, the teams draw for hammer before each game. And the last stone draw, important for a couple reasons. Obviously first for hammer in this individual game, but also important because the team's cumulative draws add up over the week and that can mean the difference between making the playoffs or not. And Matt Dunstone will put that right on the pin. So it will be Matt Dunstone starting with Hammer against Team Glenn Howard. So this is the first time we've seen Team Dunstone on our showcase sheet, Sheet D. Of course, we saw Glenn Howard yesterday defeat Tyler Tardy. And in uh, pretty handy fashion as well. So as we've said a few times throughout this event, the purse for this event, $86,000, which is uh, very high for a World Curling Tour event, and that's allowed for 12 teams to qualify for the playoffs. So the top two in each pool will qualify for the playoffs. And then uh, the remaining four top teams after those eight are through are the, uh, will be the 12 playoff teams. Of course, the playoffs get underway tomorrow, Saturday. After tonight, each of these teams will have one round robin game left, and then we'll be right into the playoffs tomorrow. Of course, we'll have all that coverage for you here on curling.com. So a win here for Glenn Howard would guarantee them a playoff spot and would guarantee them first in the pool because they would have had wins over both Tardy and Dunstone. And a win for Dunstone here would uh, throw the pool into a bit of disarray. Uh, so we'll have to see where things go. Line's good. Tight. Yep, tight. All right, boys. Have some fun. Let's play well. So Tim March getting things started here for... Team Glenn Howard, long time lead, of course, for Glenn, or at least throughout this quadrennial. We'll introduce the teams here as the leads get things underway. Of course, Team Glenn Howard operating with the, the same lineup since the, the turn of the quadrennial, Tim, with uh, Tim March at lead, David Mathers at second, Scott Howard at third, and Glenn Howard at skip. And this Matt Dunstone team, same thing. They've been Pretty together hard, since the start of this quad. Matt Dunstone making to. his home Don't in Kamloops, to. BC, Got but it. curling out Don't of Regina. To. To. Joining yeah, Braden Moscowie at Chip third, it. Kirk That's Myers at second, and yeah, Dustin we'll Kidby at hard, lead. Hard, hard, hard. And sorry, rather, this hasn't been the same team for the whole quad. Of course, Kirk Myers joining the squad just before we lost most of last season to COVID. 
So there was a bit of a Saskatchewan shuffle as Kirk came over to this team. The Marsh brothers from his team now curling with Colton and Flash. Try and, go here, I guess. and Catlin Schneider, the Two previous partners. second for this wow. Dunstone rink, also playing with Colton Flash. So. And of course, both of these teams were in the direct entry event to the trials. Matt Dunstone was victorious there. So they booked their ticket to Saskatoon yep. for a home province trials. Yep. And Glenn Howard will be trying hard. to do the same thing in a couple weeks go. in Liverpool, Nova go Scotia. Hard. Gotta go hard. Gotta trying go to make their way through the pre-trials and gain one of those last two spots that are available in Saskatoon. So both teams playing a fairly cautious first end here. Of course, we got one corner guard up for Glenn Howard without the hammer. They were looking for a center guard with that one. But other than that, the play has been all in the rings so far. Hard normal. Clean. Clean. Whoa. Just clean. 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 Shot. Shot, Deuce. Oh, Dustin good, Kidby though. making no mistake. Matt Dunstone wearing the mismatched jackets tonight. Looking like a double stuff Oreo if you put Kirk Myers and Matt Dunstone in between Moscoe and Kidby. But don't let the jackets confuse you. They are all on the same team. Whoa. I do like the idea of home and away jackets. Whoa. Not enough teams have okay. them in my opinion, but... I don't know if this is a laundry concern or why we're mixing and matching. Could be a superstition, who knows, but we'll try and get the report. I'll maybe send a note to their respective partners and see what's going on here. And of course, Matt Dunstone de it out there. We've been getting reports, the uh, the actual ice shed itself, a little bit cold. We've seen Kevin Cooey wearing a parka for pretty much the entire event. And Matt Dunstone following suit here. Okay, Kirk, no worries, bud. So Kirk will roll out here, and this will give Glenn Howard an opportunity to come around this guard if he so is so inclined, which of course he is. Top 12. Top 8. Root. Top 8. Yep. Top 12. Yep. Got to go lot. Got to go wait. Line's good. Got to go wait. Wait's good. Line's real good. Wait's good. Scott. Scott. Hit it. Yep. Top 8. Top 12. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And that's okay. a nice shot from David Mathers. What's that? So Kirk Myers attempting the run yep. back here. Yep. yep. Hard. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Yep. And it just over curls a little bit, so they try to get it the other way. They won't get the red rock fully out of the rings, but certainly they'll get it into a, a little bit better of a position. I got say when going open side. That's what I like. So Glenn Howard maybe with the opportunity for a junior deuce here. If he stuffs a run, then we're not happy. Yeah. That's so what we used to call it back in the uh, back in the day, because when you're when in the old free guard zone, where it was only the three rock rule. This is sometimes as a junior how you try to generate two. You just split the house and hope your opponent misses. That's hard, boys. Right here. That's hard. Looks there, boys. Looks there. Key line. Sweepers will have to be cautious with this. We've seen this on this sheet D all yep, weekend yep, long. Right that coming off of this center line, 
sometimes proves to be a little bit difficult, but Scott Howard makes no mistake. But you could see all the way down, he said it looks hard and it ended up being right on the tee line. So great shot. So first yep. look at Braden Moscoe here, whoa. just trying to hit and roll behind this guard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he will just get the nose, so. What was uh, Moscoe's weight? Because that ran pretty true. So Glenn Howard without hammer, still just looking to keep the rings separated and eventually yep, yep, yep. perhaps force Dunstone to one. Hard. Right to it, they Tim. need this Hard, to stick Tim. though. Tim March Tim. all over it. Hard, Tim. Right to it. Right to will it. this be able to stick around? It will. Great sweep by Tim March. So another opportunity for Braden Moscoe to hit and roll behind this guard. Real hard. This one's taken off early. Hard. All the way to it. Hard. Hard. Yep, go, Kurt. Go, go, go. So a good sweep from Myers and Kidby, but unable to hold it. But it will roll for shot, and now those rocks might be a little bit, a little bit more grouped so that Dunstone may have an opportunity at a blank. This didn't do much, right? Well, Dave's setting them. Everybody's setting okay. them out. Dave's really is really good at curling. But up nothing there. over curled, like significant. No. Remember yeah. the sheets like this. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Normal? Yeah. Firm normal? Yeah. As soon as you're hardy. I think this is gradual. Yeah. Uh, I think firm normal. Want this to stick around. That was a good weight, eh? And it will with some separation. And so Dunstone here gonna just ignore the two red counters and try to get behind the guard here. Speed's fine because uh, one of them. I got them, 15 on Scott. Okay, so one of them threw that. I threw this hit now. So yeah, I think, I think this, if you throw them a 15, you're laughing. Yeah. What do you think? I think this is real good. Right here. Same as draw the button. I think you got something good too. I agree. I think this will be good. It's really good. Same as draw to the button is really close, eh? So I like this call by Matt Dunstone. He's realizing there's really not any double there. There's not really an opportunity to do anything except get forced if he hits those Howard stones. So just going to try and get around this quasi corner guard and hope to maybe get a miss from, uh, from Glenn Howard if he has to freeze or run the blue back. So first stone here for Matt Dunstone in the first. He's looking to maybe apply a little pressure to Glenn Howard, but he is facing two. Line's good. Go ahead then. Hard line. Hard line. Line's good, line's good. Line's good. Deuce now, hard, just go, hard. Myers and Kid be on the sweep trying to get it there. The line is really good. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going, Kirky. Never 
leave it, never leave it, never leave it. And that is a phenomenal shot from Matt Dunstone and a great sweep from Myers and Kidby. As a sweeper, there's nothing you love more than absolutely having to bust your lungs in the first end, but it was worth it. That is completely dead buried. It's dangerous. And it's in a spot here where even if Glenn Howard tries the run back, he could jam. Did you get a good time? Like, I mean, as long as you're in here, right? Okay. You gotta move it a bit, though. Do I? Yeah, well, you, you, you put it right here, he's drawn for two. Well, that's shot, though, isn't it? Uh, you're gonna be in the eight foot. You gotta move it. Okay, well, I gotta play tighter ice then. Just back for it. Right there. Yeah, it'll go. So the issue here for Glenn, he was thinking about playing the run back, but if he ever were to hit the blue and jam it on the red in the back 12, to tap it now little. all of a sudden it's three for Dunstone. Yeah. Whereas with this yeah. shot, even if he misses, there's no way that Dunstone could get more than two. Okay. So as we heard Scott Howard say, Glenn Howard's just gonna need to come down here and move this blue about two feet in order to lie shot. This is really curling, just. Scott right, Howard owes me $10. No chance to throw it that like way. Just inside oh, here. The Do you see through here. And now Glenn Howard owes me $10. Into Dipping into the Howard family so trust tonight. Yeah, sorry. So be, yeah, speed's good. Yeah. You don't I'll, have to I'll get four feet here. more. So, but as you can see, obviously, both uh, father and son a little confused by that one as it comes up well short of the house. And so Matt Dunstone's phenomenal draw on his first now opens the door for a skip's deuce. Just needs a piece of the eight foot. So final stone here for Matt Dunstone. Oh, I was anticipating the start of his slide. Just a little reset. Maybe felt something under the rock. But in any case, final stone for Matt Dunstone here in the first. Just needs a piece of the eight foot for two. Dunstone told the sweepers he would give them an extra four or five feet, and he does just that. Makes no mistake, so put two up on the board. Matt Dunstone taking an early 2-0 lead on Team Glenn Howard. We'll be back with more coverage of the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic right after this. Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory. Keeping your dollars where they belong. Here at Red Arena, we are trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. 
Deuce, two thirds, bud. So a good look at Matt Dunstone looking like he just emerged out of the polar vortex with that giant hood on him. But in any case, we're here with the continuing coverage of the new floors. Penticton Curling Classic. John Cullen with you tonight for this Pool C matchup between Team Glenn Howard and Team Matt Dunstone. And it was all Matt Dunstone in that first end. And I don't mean the team, I mean Matt himself making a phenomenal draw on his first one to set up a deuce with his second. And so he has a two nothing lead here as we play the second end. Okay. Of course, we've got a lot of action out here on the other sheets around us. Six games to be in fact, and I'll try my best to keep you updated on all of them as we move along here in Penticton. Over on sheet A, we've got an all BC battle, Victoria's Cameron de Jong up against Kelowna and Vernon's Jim Cotter. On sheet B, it's Sebastian Robillard out to an early 2-0 lead over Jonathan wow. Buke. Robillard off to a hot 3-0 start. That game is being streamed on Curling Live. We don't have any commentary or audio on that sheet, but we do have two static camera angles that you can check out. Just go to the Curling Live YouTube page, hit subscribe, and you'll see all of our current live videos right beside them. It's an all Ontario battle. Two teams that had to fly across the country to face each other when they could have just drove uh, at home. But uh, it's Jason Cam against John Epping. Epping out to an early one nothing lead. Cam with the hammer playing two. And that game is also being streamed. That game does have commentary. It's on the Curling Live YouTube page. Over on sheet E beside our showcase sheet, Tyler Tardy facing off against Sean Geel in another all BC battle. And it's the youngsters team Tardy out to an early two nothing lead. Geel has the hammer. They're playing the second and on sheet F. It's Yuta Matsumura undefeated up to this point up against Neil Dangerfield. So as I said, we'll do our best to keep you updated on all that. And if you want to watch all three games, just head on over to the Curling Live YouTube page and you can check them all out. So Dustin Kidby just not quite able to get that one completely yep. buried. So Tim March will be able to hit it. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Hard, hard, cut. hard, 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 good shot. And that shot. will sit right there. So nice shot from Tim March and Glenn Howard's got a few guards up here. I think you got room. Yeah, even, if you're, even if you're back four, it's a good shot. Let's get through the hole with... Yeah, yeah I think so. I don't think 14-5 will ever hurt you here. So not an easy port here for Kirk Myers, looking to come around everything here. Liked it. Line's good. A little light. Yep. Top eight. High line. Braden Moscoe High. thinking it might be a little bit light. And if it's a little High. light, that means it might High. curl a little too much. Line only. But no, this is oh. looks perfect. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yep, yep, Moss yep, yep. getting the last little lick All in, way, yep. and that might have made the difference. What a shot from Great Kirk Myers. Shot. They were sort of acting Great like buddy. maybe that was on the center guard, but perfectly through the port. And that's not going to be an easy one to follow for Glenn Howard. Well, it's the same shot. That's what I like. Do I go through? Fourteen three, yeah, fourteen five. So David Mather is going to try to follow Kirk Myers through this port. Top Not eight. easy. Like to go, gotta go. Yep. Wait, hard. Oh, no, gotta go. Hard. hard. Tim March hard. all over this one out of the hand. Well, wait's good. Wait's good. Well. Yep. 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 Wait's good. Go. 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 And Mathers and Myers both. Getting through that port beautifully, and what a shot from David Mathers, just right on top. I just want to get it there, because you don't know, right? Fantastic. 
Fantastic play early on from both these teams. Well, you make the same shot, then he's got to play it for you, but... You bet. And the shot's so good, they're going to be forced into a run back here. Whoa! Oh, clean! Clean! Whoa! Whoa! Can't be high, Deuce. Can't be high, Yep, Deuce. yep, yep, yep! Hard! Whoa! Touch it. Touch it. So they were just trying to smidge that red so they maybe wouldn't lose their blue, but just unlock it a little bit, but unfortunately... It goes right by, so just a straight peel for Myers there. Of course, this tournament all weekend here being presented by New Floors Penticton. Just a uh, fantastic local business. You can check out their website at newfloorspenticton.ca for all of your flooring and carpeting needs. And this particular draw being presented by Lori Lancaster. She's a lakeside real estate agent here okay, in yeah. Penticton, and it's also being brought to you by the city of Penticton and the travel board here in Penticton. Uh, a beautiful city here. That's why you get a lot of these top teams out. It's for, for the purse, but it's also for the phenomenal city of Penticton. Teams love coming here, especially this time of year where it's brisk and beautiful. So if you've never been, be sure to put the city of Penticton on your... Uh, itinerary Take next time you're Flight. in British Columbia. So David Mather's coming just a little light here, but that's not all that bad. And this that guards the shot here. rock. It's a bit higher. Think make that. Yep. I think uh, as soon as we're by the guard, it's you do see to try and get to nose, hey? Yeah, I'm with you. I want to try and throw you a 15, I think. Line's good. Don't then. Real clean. Yep. Clean. Whoa well, then. Clean. Right off. Clean. Off it. Whoa. Well, Whoa well, then. No, never off. Clean. Yeah, just never touch. Never touch. Do not want to click off here. Good, Moss. So not a bad shot. Be only It's not a bad shot only because it is still t uh, such a tight port, tough to navigate to get to the face of that blue, but ideally they would have liked to be right on top of it. Lots of weight, lots of weight. Whoa. No, lots of weight. Yep, yep. What a shot from Scott Howard. I am just, you know, it's, you can say, oh, draws are easy, whatever, but I can assure you that port, not difficult, or sorry, is very difficult Same to way. get through. Not Same easy way. is what I meant to say. Because you've got to miss that, that corner guard by not that much, and then you, it automatically puts you very close to the center guard. So the fact we've seen these curlers get through this, this hole so many times, it's just so impressive and now it's a, a key shot here for Braden Moscoe. He's got to get in here or Glenn Howard's going to be potentially looking at a, a big score this end. So they'll get through the hole a little easier, but you can tell it's a little bit heavier because it misses that center guard by just that little bit more. And so... Pretty good shot from Braden Moscoe. He gets right to the top of it, but it is still Glenn Howard lying one. Can you get low? Yeah. I can only have to move it same out. Same weight. Here. Yeah, same weight's good. Whoa, whoa, 
So Scott Howard just trying to get inside of this. And he will. My goodness, what a shot from Scott Howard. And it's Team Howard once again lying too. Phenomenal weight and a great shot. It's really good. Ideally, you just touch this. We're shot here. Yeah, make this banana. I think so. Just there, probably. The only other shot would be this and try and shave this over the top. Like, dead nose it. Or go that way, I guess. But probably drift that. I think we got to get a draw in there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I guess it's pretty, pretty good if we yep. just touch that an inch and sit right there. Yep, absolutely. If I had you here, I'm going to take a bit more. Yeah. Right there, there's got to be close. Here now. Yep. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so yeah. it's a big shot here yeah, right for Matt Dunstone. Glenn Howard sitting two, and if Matt were to ever rack on a guard or even come a little bit short here, oh, those. Those blues yep. in the house start to look real lonely. Same as what I gave you last time? Okay. Stay close. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard. Real hard. 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 Hard to it. Hard to it. Chip it a bit. Nice shot. And that's exactly what Matt Dunstone called. Though I do think they might have moved Glenn Howard in for third shot. So I think they're sitting three right now. We're only, or what are we? And on the sheet beside, Tyler Tardy stealing four against Sean Giel, a four ball of knowledge. What's that? He can go, he can go so there. Tyler Tardy out to an early 6 nothing lead over Team Giel. You're right. Then you got the in off for six, for five. You got this in off for five. You, you put it right there here, boys. They could come right here and actually go it right there. That's a real tough shot, but he can make it. That, he can get to there easy. I can, I'm, start, I'm starting to think you hit this. I hit it. Yeah, yeah. He taps it in, then you're playing this in off for a million. That's, Tim, how does he get how there? How does he get there? I think we hit it. I do too. So firm, trying to hit a stick and go into this one? Yeah. So you could hear the discussion there, just trying to decide whether a guard is the shot. And then they were worried that if they did that, that Matt Dunstone comes wide around everything. And so Dunstone made the shot he boys? called, but... He could make that tap pretty good. It did bump Glenn Howard in for three. So Howard just trying to figure out how he can maybe keep the three. And he sees this rock as maybe the only way that Dunstone can kind of get in here. So... Just looking for a hit, maybe roll over. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Hard. Yep. Way to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, 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 yep. They definitely want to roll here. And so that's maybe a bit of an unforced error from Glenn Howard here. This might give Dunstone a path exactly, just that shot right there. And he could actually lie shot and it might be tough for Glenn Howard to get it out. At, at, at least hitting it, it's tough for, like, this we could give up four still. Like, let's say I do this, like, it's still a pretty tough. Picks it for three. Yeah, yeah I see it being this, three this, all the time. This tap can be four, so. 
or five, then you can make it real good. Yeah, if you miss it, I guess, sure. If you make it, it's a force, but. Okay. Sure. I think so. We're just get it'll just give them. Then there'll be a pick for three. Like I guess we're okay with that, eh? At this I point. Think I can move that three. Yeah, if you can move the three, then great. Okay. Sure. That's kind of what I was. Seeing. Sure. You're okay with Two that? Two thirds. Yeah. Three, three quarters. quarters. It's gotta be pretty hard, right eh? Okay. So they're just trying to decide how best to attack this and. As Braden Moscoe said, at this As point, they might be okay only giving up three. But just sort of hoping maybe that Matt Dunstone can throw it hard enough to at least remove one of the reds from shot so that if Glenn Howard were to follow it down for a pick, that the pick would only be, uh, would only be for two if they were able to move it far enough. So we'll see. Obviously a crucial shot here for Matt Dunstone facing three Glenn Howard counters. Or four, rather. So final stone, Matt Dunstone, high hard one to try to limit the damage. And that's pretty darn good. So he does move it far enough, I think. It's tough to say they're taking a look at it here. They think it's blue. They think it's blue. I. It's again tough to tell from our angle with the way the roof is here in Penticton. We're a little bit behind the house, so not not super easy to tell. But it looks like red to me. But I'm not standing right above it. But now it seems like both Team Howard and Team Dunstone are agreeing it's blue. So this might only be a pick for two. Phenomenal shot for Matt Dunstone. So you can see there, this is no gimme either. Glenn Howard cannot see a ton of this rock, just a thin half. He's gonna need to hit what he can see to make it go away. And he will make no mistake. So it's two for sure. And we'll take a look and see whether it's three or not. And it looks like they are gonna put a stick on it. Just a phenomenally played end from both teams. Glenn Howard just uh, getting their rocks in uh, a few of the right spots more often than uh, Team Dunstone. And they'll put at least two on the board here. And we've got some big scores around the sheets. We already told you it's 6 nothing for Tyler Tardy. Yuta Matsumura dropping a four ball of knowledge on Neil Dangerfield. So they lead 4 nothing, playing the third. And over on sheet B, Jonathan Buke also dropping a four ball of knowledge on Sebastian Robillard. So it is four to two for John Buke. Robillard with the hammer, they're playing three. De Jong and Cotter are tied 1-1, epping up 2-0 on Jason Cam. Who knows where the button is. And we'll take a look at this measure here. So Glenn Howard's already scored two. And we'll see if it's a third. And it does look to be blue. And yep, it is. So Matt Dunstone with his last does just enough to prevent a truly crooked number from going on the board, but it is a tie game. Howard and Dunstone, 2-2. Dunstone will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic live on curling.com.
little bit of a nerd when it comes to landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. Northern Credit Union, a true partner, sweeping you to financial victory, keeping your dollars where they belong. Same as last game, Maddie, for speed. Same as last game. So welcome back, folks, to the Penticton Curling Club. You're watching the new, the new Floors Curling Classic. Team Glenn Howard against, pardon me, my goodness, <laughs> Team Glenn Howard against Team Matt Dunstone. And they've exchanged twos, two very well-played ends, but particularly that second end, a lot of fantastic shot making from both Dunstone and Howard. And it ended up being Howard on the, the right side of the ledger. So we are knotted at two. Dunstone will once again have the hammer here in the third. John Cullen with you once again, and I'm by myself tonight. So unfortunately you have to listen to the ramblings of an insane man without the pleasant voice of Melissa Saligo to balance me out. Go, go, go. Go. Sweep it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's such, such a pig. So you hear the... Uh, you hear the Team Howard team mention that that rock is a pig. So usually what that means, that terminology, is that it's a, a little bit slower and typically tends to curl a little bit less because you have to throw it much harder. So we have seen uh, teams on this sheet D talk about the redstones. And uh, in particular, that one, we often see the lead having to throw it. That's usually what happens when you know you have a maybe a stone that reacts a little differently on your sheet. Often you'll give it to the lead to try to manage. Play the shot. Wait's good. We have seen the leads uh, struggle with uh, with that stone in particular. I'm not sure what number it is, but it is uh, it is something that requires management. Bit too much. Bit too much. And it's just uh, it's especially tricky for leads because you're obviously you're relying on your feel for draw weight, and you'd like to have the same feel for both of your stones. It really allows you to get locked in on a on a certain weight on the ice, and so. When you have a rock that's a little bit slower, you got to kick out a little bit harder and it can just be a tricky balance to measure. So we'll keep an eye on that second stone from Tim March and see if it continues to be an issue. Yep, yep, oh. yep, yep, yep. Hard, Tim. Hard. Hard, Tim. So David Mather's looking Hard. for the run back here. And how about that? I mean, I can't sweep it. Shot, shot. that's just an incredible shot. I mean, we've been doing curling.com broadcasts over the last month or so, and David Mather is just such a good peel weight thrower. It feels like it's all we talk about, but he's just so good at it. Just a absolutely phenomenal shot there. Clean. Yep. Hard. Hard. It's a good shot. And just missing the one at the back. But there is a guard up here for Team Dunstone, and now Glenn Howard will decide if they want to draw or just peel it and get us a one-way ticket to Blanksville. But looks like they are going to go around. There was also talk about going to the open side, but of course we saw that come back to bite Howard in the first end. They split the rings and were lying two for most of the end. And then it was Matt Dunstone making a brilliant come around uh, a guard that's almost in the exact same position as that blue one is right now. Top and eight. that led to the two for Dunstone. So, row, row, row. Back four. No, top, so maybe, top uh, you know, row, once bitten row. twice shy here for top, team top Glenn four, Howard, really they're going to try and beat Dunstone around this guard. Really got a curl. It's heavy. So that won't quite get buried for Team Mathers. Hack. I think I said Team Mathers, I meant Dave Mathers. Of 
course, Team Glenn Howard have uh, some sponsors they'd like to thank. As you can see on their jackets, of course, sponsored by the Beer Store, which, of course, a very apt sponsor for a curling team. Glenn Howard worked for the Beer Store for many years and is now, of course, enjoying retirement, but they're still a, a key sponsor for Team Howard. They're also sponsored by VR Mechanical, Broker Link Insurance, JD Barnes, Kathy L. Toon, CPA, York One, and Whamco Waterworks, and their equipment sponsor is Balance Plus. Whamco Waterworks sounds like uh, what I would say when I hit my sister in the face and she started crying. Whamco, now look, here comes the Waterworks. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No, no. Whoa, yep, yep. Don't worry, I didn't do that often or anything like that. So just trading hits here. Want to make sure that sticks for shot, and it does. Light nose. Same weight. Yep, 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 yep. yep. yep, yep, yep. Hard. Really got to go, Dave. Really got to go, Dave. Hard, Dave. You got it. You still got it. You got to go, though. You got to go. You got to go. Got to make whoa, sure whoa, this whoa, sticks. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it will. So nice sweeping from David Mathers. It's a little soft. Shot. And now with there being two there, Dunstone, they could come around the center guard, but these two are uh, in a good position to make a double here and potentially leave the blank as an option. Of course, Dunstone might be more okay with the blank here in the third than the first, as that would give them the hammer in the even ends. And so Moscoe unable to stick it, so this will give Glenn Howard a chance to draw around the center guard. Oh, did you? Okay, take a break. Okay, so I took a little less than you. Yours, we were begging for yours to curl. Did you? <laughs> That's always good when your uh, front end are very honest with you. Glenn was saying, oh, yours really didn't curl, thinking it was maybe an ice problem, and both Dave Mathers and Tim March said, nah, no, we, we, we kind of popped it. Yeah, yeah. So this is good, eh? Real good? So good info, you know, it's always important to be honest, especially when it comes to communicating with your skip. So Glenn Howard just looking to draw around rub, this rub, center rub. guard. Whoa. Try to force the issue here without the hammer. Whoa, Tim's room, too much room. Tim's rock, Tim's rock. It's wide open. Got to curl a mile. Keep there going, goes. you're moving it. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well. Just too much ice. So maybe uh, Tim March and David Mathers were a little too honest. <laughs> maybe they didn't pop it as much as they thought they did, as that one just doesn't quite curl as much as they had hoped. And so this almost looks like the similar movie to, to the one we saw in the first end. So obviously, uh, in that case, Dunstone, there were two hangers on for Team Glenn Howard, and they decided to come around the center. So in this case, there's... It's a little bit of a different look for Dunstone, but uh, could be a similar result if he can bury this one around the center guard. 
It uh, could be another skips deuce here for Dunstone in the third. I'll just take like four or five feet off what I've been giving you then. Okay. We're just going full top four. Yeah. Talk to him, we can freeze. button. Good line. Hard line. Line's good. Line's good. Top four. Hard line. Hard deuce. Come on, buddy. This needs to get moving. Yeah, yep. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And touch just it, a, a little light from Matt Dunstone. And so Glenn Howard will sit shot stone without hammer. It's buried, and he'll have an opportunity to lie to behind cover. Yeah, I you guess kind of put it here. He's got the deuce. Yeah, okay. okay, so I think I think that's button. Yeah, I agree. I don't need much more. I think that's minimum. Okay. Yeah, you got to get by. What do you think? How much do I give it? Same weight's got to be close. Same weight? I think you're here. I feel like I gotta give it a bit. Yeah, so I gotta, I, I agree, I agree. So it's like six feet, six, seven feet. Okay. Yeah, I agree. And I don't think I threw that last one very hard. Okay. So final stone here for Glenn Howard in the third end. Yep, yep, Already yep. lying one. Hard, Tim. Needs to get this in a good spot. Really, he got to go. And this one is just not close. So still trying to maybe figured out the uh, paths on the ice. We haven't really seen a rock out that far and that one just totally dies on Glenn Howard. So we've seen this here on this sheet D. Teams, uh, especially at the beginning of the game, just struggling a little bit to find their draw weight as uh, these paths are a little bit more difficult to no negotiate. And Matt Dunstone trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do here. Probably like your highest percentage shot right now is this blank. You think that's easier than the draw? I just, just with the speed there, I do. I'm just, I'm just a little worried about going out wide, wider. I'm seeing that or this. I think this draw will be okay too if you wanted to. Like, he's just. Well, he's ducking him now. Yeah. Uh, what are you seeing? I'm just trying to, I'm just not sure how that's going to run. I think this comes up a bit? I don't, nope. Do we roll in too? To make it? We probably roll in. Then you throw easy at it if that's the case. Might be the play. Like three quarters with easy is a deuce. Okay, I like that then. That's the shot then. Okay. So the debate here was whether they wanted to try the draw. You could. You know, it, yeah, it sort of looks like you could play a heavy draw. They're pretty normal. I think it runs pretty true. I think it's pretty true to what we've been seeing all week. You could play a heavy draw on Matt Dunstone's intern, come around everything and tap that red out of the house for your two. But they're just a little bit nervous after seeing Glenn Howard's go down that same path. And they also think it might not curl enough to actually get to that red one. Then they thought about maybe drawing for one, but they also thought that was pretty difficult because they don't exactly know the draw path on Matt Dunstone's outturn side. And so they finally settled on this shot, just playing a control weight, eight foot run back, and then try to roll on the rings for two. Not an easy shot, but it is there. So Matt Dunstone facing one, 
here in the third. What a shot. Unbelievable from Matt Dunstone. It's just whether or not that one is on the rings, and it is. So just a fantastic shot from Matt Dunstone, capitalizing on the uh, Glenn Howard mistake. And you could say that's two skip deuces now here for Matt Dunstone. They lead 4-2, to two, but Glenn Howard will have the hammer when we return. You're watching the Penticton Curling Classic live on curling.com. sanctuary absolutely brings me peace the work is 100 percent cathartic for me you know i find myself getting tied up in it and being busy and then it's really nice just to sit breathe in life and it's beyond zen trying to help people through equine therapy. Working with the veterans has been a very amazing experience. Our little motto that we always say is empowerment through horses. I love what I do. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Hello, folks. Welcome back to coverage of Draw 8 here at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. John Cullen with you once again for this game between Team Matt Dunstone and Team Glenn Howard. And it's been the Matt Dunstone show here so far as he made a pistol draw in the first to set up a deuce and then to finish out the third end just making a phenomenal... Control weight, eight foot, angle, awesome. run back, yeah. roll onto the rings for two. Your throw? If you're confused by that, so am I. But that is what he did, and it was a beautiful shot. So just a, a phenomenal pair of deuces for Matt Dunstone. And it'll be Glenn Howard now with the hammer looking to pull two back. Good line. Very similar. It looks a lot a tighter. Okay. Yeah. Max right now. It's gonna be you. I think we're. I don't. I think weight's good. Okay. You just Line's get coming. Ready, Two thirds. No, it's it's picking. It's picking. It's picking. Yep. So what do you want? Here? Yeah, I think you gotta picking. go. Gotta go, take go, away go. this. Gotta take away this go side. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Got. Keep going. Hard. Keep going. Good. Great Real job. Good. Of course, Team Dunstone, uh, the darlings of Saskatchewan. Obviously, uh, a lot of great curling teams from Saskatchewan and a very rich curling history in that province that Matt Dunstone is thrilled to keep on moving. And they have a bunch of sponsors they'd like to thank as well. Agromax, Pleasant Valley Farms, Quark's Urban Trail, Apex Plumbing and Heating Limited, Galon Insurance Brokers, Caledon Equipment Leasing, Sask Canola, Norstar, 
core grain systems, Connexus Credit Union, Inlet Auto Line products, Atlas Apex Roofing, Michelle's, and their equipment sponsor is Hardline's Ice Pad. So as you can tell, they're a team from Saskatchewan, sponsored by a lot of farming companies. And it's uh, great to see, of course, second Kirk Myers as well, doing a lot of work with uh, mental health initiatives with farming communities in Saskatchewan. And Team Dunstone have been uh, great ambassadors for the sport in that province. They run junior clinics all over the province, learn to curls. And of course, last year at the Briar, representing the small town Wadena Curling Club. In Saskatchewan, as that's where Kirk Myers grew up, and it was uh, in COVID times one of the places they could actually practice and get ice. So it was uh, cool to see them uh, represent uh, Saskatchewan in in such a way. And of course, they will be they will be in Saskatoon next month for a home province <laughs> Olympic trials, which uh, has to feel good for them as well. So we have our first exchange of gratitude out here. Tyler Tardy laying the boots to Sean Geel and their uh, liquid sunshine jackets. I just posted them on Twitter. Truly some of the craziest curling jackets I've ever seen and I love them. But it was uh, Tyler Tardy on the, uh, the lopsided end of the scoreboard in this one. I didn't see how many uh, Tardy scored in the last end, but I believe it was uh, a 9-0 victory for Tyler Tardy. So no surprise, there's an exchange of gratitude there after four ends. What do you want more? No, no. Thank you, Davey, let's go. So back to our feature game here, and David Mathers just looking to come around this corner guard and push this blue out of the rings. Hard! Gotta go hard. Hard! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bounce it, bounce it. And so that just over curls a little bit there. Just a bit light. Yeah, for those of you who want to follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash Cullen the Curler, C-U-L-L-E-N the Curler. You can see those fantastic Team Geel jackets and all the other dumb things I say about, uh, about curling. The dumb things I say about curling, not limited to my voice. I'm also capable of typing them into a phone and tweeting them to the Clean. universe. Clean. Yep. Uh, Just nibble it. Er, er, er. And so that one will just roll out of the house. And so Glenn Howard will have an opportunity here to make a hit and roll behind cover. Trying to get this to curl enough to get underneath, but it will not. Yeah. Yeah. And so now Dunstone will have the chance to get two buried behind a center guard. Even if I'm back line, don't panic, because if we get inside, it's good. I, I, I'd like to kill it, but more importantly, he's getting inside. That's where you just hack. And a great shot from Braden Moscoe. Said he didn't care if he killed it or not, but he does end up killing it. And Matt Dunstone lies too buried without hammer. And of course, with that Tyler Tardy win, this uh, game becomes even more important for Matt Dunstone. Tyler Tardy moving to three and one. So Dunstone at two and one, if they could get a victory here, would actually create a three-way tie between themselves and Glenn Howard and Tyler Tardy. Back here. 
In tomorrow's action, Glenn Howard will be playing Sean Geal. Tyler Tardy will be playing Cameron DeYoung, and Glenn Howard will be playing Jim Cotter. So three key games for these teams tomorrow. Obviously, Glenn yep, Howard yep. would love to get the win yep. tonight. That would put them to 4-0 and and would cement them as the oh. pool winners. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, kidding me? Sorry, Sorry. Just unlucky from Scott Howard there, as Glenn Howard said. Just They just can't catch a break right now, as that's really not an easy shot from Scott, and they just missed it by about an inch, making that perfectly buried. I don't, but I, it is a better result with this turn, so I think we got a good idea. Yeah. You can sweep it aggressive, like, the only thing we can't really do is hook it, I guess. No, try and be top button. Okay. So they're choosing to ignore that Team Glenn Howard stone and trying to come around everything here with Braden Moscoe second. Go ahead. Line's getting good. Hard. How short are we guys? Whoa, 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 whoa. And he will come just a little short of the ring, so opportunities here for Glenn Howard. I like same shot. I don't hate the same shot. Same shot. So they're going to try the run back once again, and ideally they would stick it. And if they do, they'll be lying too. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. yes. Hard, Tim. Jeez. Hard, Tim. Oh. Piece of it. Okay. Okay. Just curled like crazy. Yeah, it was lighter. So as you could hear there, just... Uh, Glenn thinking it was maybe a hair lighter, so it just snapped on them. But it does push that blue rock into the open. So not a not a complete negative result for Scott Howard. It is. It really puts pressure, but it, it, it is. makes that harder for me too. I, I like making it, but I'm going to play it very safe. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to flip yeah. it at like all. I think let's I'd give love her to here. make it for you. Yep. So. But it's I'm going to play for nose, and if it, as soon as I know it's by, then yeah. I'll let it go. I'm going to throw like a normal. Yeah, I, I think so. You could even throw sperm firm if you wanted. Because yeah. firm makes the shot good, too. Yeah, it makes it better. Norm, normal's right? okay, but. I don't hate smooth. I'm throwing pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Let's just take a little. I, yeah. okay. That's exactly Just what smooth. Seen. Three quarters, two thirds. Just smooth. So Matt Dunstone's first here in the fourth. Just looking to draw in for a second shot. Oh, sorry, my apologies. He's hitting the red here. I liked that call better anyway. <laughs> That will stay, so it's Dunstone line two without hammer here. I like the hit or the draw? I'd love to. If I could draw, that's the shot. What do you think? I mean, you roll, I think he's going to make a little. I know. Like, he's going to make that, isn't he? There's a hole here, though. I guess if I do this one. Well, if I don't make it. No, if anything, you got to do this. To I don't think it's there, Scott. It got almost edge on edge. I don't think it's there. I don't really like rolling back here. They suck from around. Problem is, like, 
They're gonna probably put it in the hole. Right in the too. hole. I know. Yeah, and you can't. There's no chance to get through here. So and then I can't go through here either. No. No, just like? go here and maybe he makes a run and rolls out, and then he peel for the blank. I don't think it's there. It's tough. I guess like this is I, no picnic. He like. No, I know. I don't, if what you guys might. like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can get to here. Yeah. So He's just deciding that, which of oh, these two blue stones to roll in on. Rolls out and get a blank. <coughs> this maybe this, this is really hard. I think that to get it. Yeah, I might be able to. You could get to probably half. That's which is fine. He, he, he peels picks, it and we yeah. pe blank. Oh no, I was thinking hack. You got to get low. You just gotta throw a little bit harder. <laughs> I think this is hard. Okay. I, this. Either we draw the problems. I feel but like there's if a I hole. Make it, it's gonna go right, right the there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. The draw's gonna be. try this then. Okay. Firm. Yeah, try to get it to here. Yeah, right over. Exactly. So I think firm. Okay. Right there. Make it. So they've decided to hit and roll off the back one. The initial, the initial hesitancy here was that even if you make this really good, Matt Dunstone would have a slash on his blue in the eight foot. But really, at some point, you just have to count on a miss from an opponent. So Glenn Howard just trying to get a hit and roll in here with his first here in the fourth. Real close, real close, real close, real close. Right off, Dave, Tim, Tim, Tim. All you got in the roll, all you got in the roll. And it will just not quite oh. get behind. Oh. And so Dunstone is shot. Spot just worries me a little bit. These draws just, we haven't got one good result out of a draw in this spot. It's the only thing that scares me. I was me seeing about. board weight, so if I hit it a quarter, we're underneath. Sure. Yeah, you could really, even. Really, it's just a hit and roll. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, yeah. I think you throw half, because yeah. we don't have to kill the four, right? right? If the eight goes on yeah. to the four, we've got something yeah. good. It's just half weight. Hit a third. Yeah, I'll try and hit you half or off with yep. board to half. Let me know what from the hack what you're yep. seeing, but I don't think this is going nuts. No. I'm seeing that hack weight there. Yeah, I like it. So oh, Braden okay. Moscoe is saying that uh, he didn't like really path? see a draw here. That they're sort of scared that they're going out a little too wide on the draw path. What way do you throw in? Hack weight. I could just try and nose that back red too. So they're talking about just shaving their blue one into the forefoot. Or I can, or I can give this a go too. Well, wait, what if I throw half on the back one if I chisel the other one? And then that's what we're doing. I think that's bonanza. I, I think let's play that with hack, and if it comes up, we push it under. We're shot, eh? Is the yeah. other thing? I think let's play this with hack, and if it comes up, we just chisel this underneath. Yep. With like just through hack. Yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, you're thinking this one? Just no hit and roll on that, and if it comes up, we push it under. Not the craziest thing I've heard. Like I, this is this is <laughs> no easier. No, than no, that. no. I'm I hear you. And this, sure, I'm in. I, How's that? I see in middle 12. Can you throw board at this or no? I'm just what, scared if it does come up if we push throw it too hack. far. Throw hack. You're right. I like this. So now they're kind of creating a, a sort of 50 50 scenario here where the main goal is to get the red one out and force Howard to a difficult either draw or hit for one. But as they say, if it curls a little bit more than they're expecting, then yeah. it might come in and just do the original shot that they were calling, which is to shave that blue one into the forefoot. So options here for Matt Dunstone on his last. Ah. 
Final stone. And that's as cool as you like from Matt Dunstone. Just a fantastic little hack waiter. And they will lie too. Gotta get low. Gotta get low. I gotta hit this one. And we have another exchange of gratitude. Team Epping stealing three in the fifth end on Jason Cam. And that led to the exchange. So John Epping picks up the victory I mean, seven to one over Jason Cam. Yeah. As long as you roll in, you're or, or just nub it. Okay, so normal? Yeah. That's good, yeah. Right you don't think it's there? I'm not sure. Is this even there? I'm not sure it's even there. Yeah, I think we got to throw board. Like, I think I got to kick the right one. I agree. Board. Nope. Board. We can get her fairly close and then, uh, okay. So they're just trying to get to the nose or maybe a shade roll inside on this top blue here. But not easy, tricky path. So final stone for Glenn Howard, facing two. And so Glenn Howard just underthrows it a little bit, tips the top blue onto the rings, and that is a steal of three for Matt Dunstone. Just an unfortunate miss there for Glenn Howard, a little miscommunication with the sweepers, and Matt Dunstone will take a commanding seven to two lead. And I'm just waiting to see if we're exchanging gratitude here or not. And it doesn't look like we are. So it will be seven to two. Howard will have the hammer when we come back right after this. Hi, I'm Troy Slater, uh, Greenbrier Golf and Country Club and uh, Greenbrier Estates and DNS Homes. Well, currently we have uh, 143 lots in phase one and phase two, which is, have been underway for a while now. Uh, and as you can see around Greenbrier, it's, uh, it's, it's a great developed area just on the outskirts of Saskatoon. And now we've just started uh, phase three and uh, we have another 54 lots available for, for sale now. I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to landscaping. I've studied soil down to the microbes. It's that level of detail I bring to my work and to my business. Straight lines and a healthy ecosystem is what I'm all about. you to financial victory keeping your dollars where they belong Running the sanctuary absolutely brings me peace. The work is 100% cathartic for me. You know, I find myself getting tied up in it and being busy, and then it's really nice just to sit, breathe in life, and it's beyond zen. 
Northern Credit Union. A true partner, sweeping you to financial victory. Keeping your dollars where they belong. My name is Scott Henbury. I am the Vice President of Sales for Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Great Western Brewing Company. Yeah, our support of curling started a number of years ago and we rec recognize that curling is a phenomenal sport that's uh, very popular across all of Western Canada and in fact across all of Canada. Our partnership with, uh, with Team Flash is phenomenal. We uh, love the support that you guys give us. And, uh, and we certainly feel that uh, you know, we have a good partnership with you guys and uh, it's, a, it's a reciprocal relationship and you know, we certainly uh, wish you guys all the luck at the uh, upcoming trials and uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully here back here in Saskatoon. So welcome back, folks, to continuing coverage of the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic. You're watching curling.com, sportsnet.ca, and World Curling TV. Matt Dunstone, as you can see from that scoreboard, out to a commanding 7-2 to two lead against Glenn Howard here. And it's just been a case of the wrong side of the inch here for Glenn Howard as he had a shot on his last one, a bit of a tricky one, but... But, it, you know, a shot that you would expect him to make and just maybe a little miscommunication with the sweepers. They didn't really touch it, and uh, it racked on the guard. It was a little less weight than they were expecting, and as we've seen on this sheet D all week, if you're a little lighter than expected, the rocks are going to curl early, and they're going to curl hard, and that's uh, unfortunately what happened to Glenn Howard there. And so now it's just uh, house control time for Matt Dunstone, up five here. Where? Top 12. Hard line. Of course, this Penticton event, a uh, phenomenal event brought to you by New Floors Penticton. Check out their website, newfloorspenticton.ca for all of your flooring and carpeting needs. And this draw eight, this feature draw is presented by Lori Lancaster, the city of Penticton and Travel Penticton. Lori Lancaster, uh, a real estate agent here in the area if you're looking to move into the beautiful Okanagan. There's not too many better places to be than Penticton. Great place to visit, great place to live. And we're here at the, the excellent Penticton Curling Club right by the Southern Okanagan Event Center right next door, the home of the Penticton V's. Beautiful uh, casino right beside us and just a really phenomenal uh, entertainment complex here in downtown Penticton. And that will just bounce off for Dave Mathers. And this has uh, been the, the story of the night here for Glenn Howard so far. Just uh, can't get their rocks in the right spots. Well, and it's interesting here too, you know, Glenn Howard had a phenomenal second end. At one point, we're looking like they were maybe going to put four on the board. Matt Dunstone made a great shot with his last to hold Howard to two and then... Dunstone himself making a phenomenal shot in the third to set up the deuce, or to get the deuce, rather. And then that fifth end was all one-way traffic. And Dunstone ending up putting up three on the board. And also earlier I was talking about uh, Kirk Myers' foundation, his mental health foundation to uh, help farming communities and farmers themselves produ producing communities to, uh, you know, with mental health issues, if he felt like it was an area that uh, didn't get talked about enough, that, uh, you know, farming can be a bit of an isolating activity and he wanted to do more for that community. And uh, that is the name of the foundation, the Do More Agricultural Foundation. You can check them out on Twitter at Do More Ag. Always nice when uh, curlers are able to give back. And we'll update you around the sheets. As we said, uh, John Epping were early winners against Jason Cam and Tyler Tardy. <laughs> That's uh, Ryan Fry in the background, uh, whooping for that uh, W that they put on the board earlier tonight. And uh, I think uh, maybe drinks are in order for the Epping boys tonight after that W. And of course, Tyler Tardy also early winners over Sean Geal. In the rest of our games, you got Jim Cotter up by one over Cameron DeYoung. They lead three to two. DeYoung with hammer. They're playing five. 
Beside them are other feature game that's still active. You can check that out if you go to Curling Live's YouTube. It is a six to three lead for Jonathan Buke over Sebastian Robillard. Robillard has the hammer. They're playing the fifth. And the only other game still in action is Yuta Matsumura against Neil Dangerfield. And it's been all Japan all the time as they lead Dangerfield six to one and they have the hammer. They're playing the sixth. This one? Yeah. He's, ta he's taking a run at it though that way. Yeah. yeah he slashes that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make it good. So Glenn Howard just trying hard here to maybe manufacture a two, get themselves back in the game. And of course being up five for Dunstone, they're not going to be too fussed about giving up two either. Go, Just go. can't give yep. up three here. Dave, 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 Dave. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. So Scott Howard making the corner guard. So it's Dunstone lying one, but Howard has a few hanging on in the rings here. They're lying second and fourth. Like if I throw firm. I know. He can. Like if, and he can't come around the corner if we get rid of it. Yeah, the only way we get in trouble is if I do this. 100%. Tiff yep. hitting it to the middle. How much do I have? If I've got half, I like it. Now it's decision time. It's if you're seeing something off there, that's fine. If I, Make this good, it's Max Deuce. It's Max Deuce if I hit that too, isn't it? He can wrap again. And he's got to get rid of three with two. What's that? Like the only way I screw us here is if I hit this. I'm fine with giving ring. this to go if you're seeing it. I mean, I got half or off. Whichever one. No, gimme, he can lock a freeze into here too. He gets into here, it's tough to get rid of. Well, this one's easy, but. I just think he's, I just think he's got a lot of work over here. Not really, Maddie wants to. I think he's got a lot of work here and you might get a double back if we just nose. I, I don't like nose because he can tap it back and we can't kill it. Sure. Something like that. I think just smooth. Okay. Good normal, just smooth. You good with this, Kirk? I think this makes the most sense and like I can make it really good bouncing off ours and up. So, just so the debate here is just how to make sure they don't give up any more than two, which is exactly what I was saying earlier in this situation. You give up two, you're up three with hammer playing six. You're never feeling too stressed about that. But if you give up a three ball, all of a sudden, you know, Howard feels like they're maybe back in the game. So just hitting here with Braden's second and they really want to make sure this rolls whoa, whoa. to get some separation between the blues. Sit. Sit. Uh, yep, yep. And unfortunately it just kisses off their own and will roll into the wings, but it will Sorry, stick boys. on the rings. Ah, but cool. this will maybe open up Glenn Howard to a potential freeze opportunity or the chance to stack some rocks behind Five. this corner guard. Is there a double on those blues? Hey, is there a double on the blues? I think I gotta weld it right on the button. Yeah. I think you gotta freeze. Yep. What's this speed gonna be, boys? Oh, no, not at all. So Scott Howard playing the freeze here. A little bit. Whoa. Line's good. Felt there to me. Felt there. Yep, yep, yep. Line's good. Yep. Yep, you got to go. Hard, guys. Line's Sweeper's got to make sure this one is there. Line's real good. Come on, come on, come on. Get her full Line's in perfect. Here. Line's perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And it won't quite freeze, but it will come in for, I believe, second shot. 
But this might set up the crosshouse double here for Dunstone. Not sure that he really cares to take that on, but yeah, I agree okay, with Matt. Right it does look like it's red. make it off of here too like this might be your easiest way to make it is off our blue yeah and the safest what just half rock okay so they are looking at it obviously if matt were to make this they'd be lying four and glenn would be like to go off of here. freezing to try to score two Not it. and that'll kill it that'll get this and go yeah i'm gonna play it safe because again if i do this great yeah. Quarter will be close to that. Quarter rocks, yeah. Commit to it. Go after it. Could. Could just do this too. Oh, we're not. We're not. Probably smart. Yeah, it's no brainer. Through half rocks. No, I, it's half rocks, good, eh? Oh, yep. We're trying to reinvent the wheel here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes that does happen when you get up five in a game, and especially a game that you maybe thought was going to be a really tight game. You know, Glenn Howard's a great team. You, you do tend to maybe get in your own head a little bit. You just think, okay, well, we, we really got to make sure we manage this game. We don't want to let Glenn back into it. And as Matt says, you don't need to reinvent the wheel here. You just need to put those wheels underneath your car and keep rolling. So Dunstone looking to get across the house and kill the two reds. Oh, my bad. Never mind. They decided against that, which makes sense. There was a potential jam there. So I think they were worried that, you know, maybe you come a little inside of that and then you jam. And if you jam, then you open up the possibility of three. So I like that call. My apologies for not picking up on it. Pretty good. <laughs> we haven't seen good stuff. I haven't seen good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Glenn Howard now is going to need to make a really good freeze. To even have a shot at two. Got to curl a bit. Line's good. Got to curl. Line's good. Room a bit. Room a bit. All right, Tim. You got to go. You got to go for the weight. You gotta go for weight. Line's good, straight, 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 straight. You gotta go for weight, you gotta go for weight. So trying to get this one to the face. Even, even second shot's good. And they just won't quite get it there, so it will be there for second shot, but Matt Dunstone will likely have the exact same shot, just poke it through the hole. And Glenn Howard will be forced to one. Half rock in. Two thirds, half. And we have another exchange of gratitude on sheet F. Neil Dangerfield succumbing to Yuta Matsumura and Team Japan, a 7-1 victory there for Matsumura. And be sure to join us live tomorrow. Curling.com, Sportsnet.ca, and World Curling TV will have all the action for you. We'll be uh, covering the, set, the final round robin draw tomorrow at noon Pacific. That's 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll have uh, Matt Dunstone on our feature sheet once again, playing Jim Cotter. And that could figure to be a, a game with a ton of ramifications yep. in Pool C. Yep. Hard. Gotta go. Yep. Gotta go. And then Gotta the go, playoffs man. will start after that, and Hard. we'll have Great coverage of the go. entire playoff rounds. Great shot. The opening play-in round will be tomorrow at 3.30, or 3.45 p.m., rather. And then we start the quarterfinals on Saturday night. 7.30 p.m. Yeah, I don't think I can throw it that hard. We'll see. Yeah. And then, of course, we'll have the semifinals and finals live for you on Sunday. 
So you'll want to stay locked here all weekend and Glenn Howard trying to lock in here. He does not even sure he can throw it hard enough to make this flat double, but he's going to try. Knows that he needs two here. And this will not get close. So it is another one on the board for Matt Dunstone and make it an eight to two final here on sheet D. So this will drop Glenn Howard to three and one and improve Matt Dunstone to three and one. And with Tyler Tardy also at three and one, it's all to play for tomorrow here in Pool C. We hope you'll join us back here at noon Pacific tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern, as we will once again bring you Matt Dunstone against Jim Cotter in what should be a huge game for Pool C implications for the whole team here at curling.com. Thanks for joining us for all four draws today. We look forward to bringing you more coverage from the new floors. Penticton Curling Classic tomorrow. We'll see you then. Have a good night. Goodbye.